Hi, this is Mike, and we're going to take a look at how you can use the shape control in Balsamic to um, make some custom uh, shapes or elements that don't exist in the UI library. And we're going to take two examples from George Rod's uh, Common Control Symbols Library in Mockups to Go. And he has a couple of ribbons that are, are interesting that, um, that you can't find anywhere in the UI library because they're not basic form elements or other UI interface controls. So um, let's see how he did this. So what he did was basically overlay a diamond over a rounded rectangle using the diamond as a mask. Pretty simple. So let's see if we can um, recreate this shape just by adding um, shape here. And I think that he made his about 36 pixels high. And um, so it's like it's somewhere around here. Um, and we're going to change this to a rectangle or a rounded rectangle. Change our color. I'm just going to be using uh, gray 3 throughout this demo. And then we're going to overlay uh, a diamond on the left side. So I'm going to make this a 36 by 36 pixel square change the shape to a diamond and since this is going to be a mask I'm ma making it match the background color so it's white fill and white border and I'm just lining up the top and bottom points with the end and there you have the um, the ribbon and I'm just gonna crop it just to get the you know little white diamond mask out of the back so there we go so in, Last thing you just need to do is add a label. Um, so you could just put a, um, a white label right in the middle and vertically align it with your shape here. So there you go. And um, so that was pretty easy. Um, the second ribbon he's got here looks like a ribbon that's overlapping this piece of paper or sort of folding around the back. So let's see, let's see how we did this one and. Um, I already looked at this, so I know that this is a diamond that he's got in the back. And above that, he's got a rectangle that is covered by a parallelogram. You can see the shapes that are selected here. It's rectangle, and back here is diamond. So this is pretty easy to make as well. It looks like we just have to add a diamond in the back. And we're just going to make this diamond gray and probably a little bit smaller. How should big should we make it? I don't know how big is this. I'll make it like this because it doesn't matter since it's hidden. And then I'm going to make this square. Let's stick with that 36 by 36. Okay, so now what we need to do is have the bottom left corner of that square line up with the left point of the diamond and then move this behind the paper. So we're just going to have to send it all the way to the back like that. So now what it looks like is that this paper is in between the diamond and the square. And then to finish it off, we just need to duplicate that square and make it a make this shape a parallelogram, and then we have our our um, folded ribbon. Um, just add a label on top of that, and there we go. So we have that shape, and you can do the same thing to create a bunch of um, other shapes. So this the, this is a nice basic shape that you could use to make like um, a big arrow that you could use in a diagram or something. So if you took this, um, let's say we took this crop out, we really leave the crop in there. Let's, let's just take this diamond on the left side, put it on the right side as well, make it gray. Now, so now we have uh, sort of a barking dog in the background and an arrow here. Um, you could also do the same thing with, um, say you wanted to have a pill shape for
for tags or something. Um, we, if you know, you don't if you don't like the rounded rectangle, but you really wanted that um, pill shape, you just make this uh, circle on each end. So if this was a circle with a fill and border, looks like that looks kind of like a pencil. <laughs> Um, but you could do the um, circle on both sides, and now you, oh, we got to take that crap out. And now you have a pill shape. Um, or for some reason, if you wanted to have a button that had, you know, the different um, sides, I don't know what kind of thing, crazy things could you do here. You could do that. I don't know why you would want to do that, but um, well, Amazon used to have this strange looking button like that. You could do that. Um, so, I mean, there's all kinds of um, ways of combining shapes here that you could make basic um, buttons, pills, um, and these ribbons. Um, and you, use, you would use the same idea as in, you know, uh, drawing of looking through the, the object that you're trying to create and breaking it down into, in mul into multiple geometric shapes and building them up um, using layering like this. Okay, that's it. Bye.